Good evening, everybody. I am in numbers. Got my girls here. Whoops. Princess Harley right here, and I got Hannah up here. So I'm gonna see how I how far I can go with this. I've got a square up here. I don't. Oh, I took it off. There was like this little square I kept looking at. I was like, why do I have a square on my screen? I'm deciding I love this computer because I love the touch screen. I am having the time of my life with this computer. Thank the Lord for touch screen. Love that, right, Hannah? Okay, back to numbers. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it, and his anger. Oh, boy. This doesn't sound good. Come here, Anna Grace. Come, on, come up here with Mama. Come here. Come here, baby girl. Come on. Nope. Kindled. I'm going to start over. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it. And his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were in the utmost parts of the camp. And the Lord cried unto Moses, and Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. And he called the name of the place Taberah, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusty. And the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all besides this manna before our eyes. And the manna was as coriander seed, and the color thereof as the color of medallion. And the people went about and gathered it and ground it in mills, or beat it in mortar, and baked it in pans and made cakes of it, and taste of it was the taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon the camp in the night, the manna fell upon it. Then Moses heard the people weep throughout their families, every man in the door of his tent, and the anger of the Lord was kindled greatly. Moses also was displeased. And Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight? That thou layest the burden of all thy pe this people upon me. Have I conceived all this people? Have I begotten them, that thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in thy bosom, as a nursing father beareth the sucking child unto the land which thou swearest unto their fathers? Whence should I have flesh to give unto all these people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh, that we may eat. I may not able to bear all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. And if thou deal thus with me, Kill me, I pray thee, out of the hand, if I have found favor in thy sight. And let me not see my wretchedness. And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people, and officers over them. And bring them under the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with thee. And I will come down and talk with thee there, and I will take of the Spirit which is upon thee, and will put it upon them, that they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou bear it not thyself alone. And say thou unto the people, Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow, and ye shall eat flesh. For ye have wept in the ears of the Lord, saying, Who shall give us flesh to eat? For it was well with us in Egypt. 
Therefore the Lord will give you flesh, and ye shall eat. Ye shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days nor twenty, but even a whole month until it come out of your nostrils, and it be loathsome unto you, because that ye have despised the Lord which is among you, and you have wept before him, saying, Why came we forth out of Egypt? And Moses said, The people among whom I am are six hundred thousand footmen, and thou hast said, I will give them flesh, that they may eat a whole month. Shall the flocks and the herds be slain for them, to suffice them, or shall all the fish of the sea be gathered together for them to suffice them? And the Lord said unto Moses, Is the Lord's hand wax short? Thou shalt see now whether my word shall come to pass unto thee or not. And Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people, and set them round about the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in a cloud, and spake unto him, and took of the spirit that was upon him, and gave it unto the seventy elders. And it came to pass that, when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. But there remained two of the men in the camp. The name of the one was Eldad, and the name of the other Medad. And the spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but went not out unto the tabernacle. And they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man and, the, and told Moses and said, Eldad and Madad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men, answered and said, My Lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses said unto them, Envious thou for my sake. Would God that are all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them? And Moses got him into the camp, he and the elders of Israel. And then went forth a wind from the Lord, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp, as it were a day's journey on this side, and as it were a day's journey on the other side round about that camp, and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. And the people stood up all the day, and all that night, and all the next day, and they gathered the quails. He that gathered least gathered ten horners, homers, <laughs> and they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. And he called the name of that place Kibroth Hadava, because they were buried, the people that lusted. And the people journeyed from Kilbroth Hatava unto Hazareth, and abode in Hazareth. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Hath he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek, above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses, and unto Aaron, and unto Miriam, Come out ye there unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud, and stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. Well, <laughs> my servant Moses is not so, 
who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in darkness speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall be, shall he behold. Wherefore then, we ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed seven days? Let her be shut out of the camp seven days, and after that let her be received in again. And Miriam was shut out of the camp seven days, and the people journeyed not to Miriam, was brought in again. Not till Miriam was brought in again. And afterward the people removed from Hazaroth and, the, and pitched in the wilderness of Paran. Chapter 13 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men, and they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. And Moses, by the commandment of the Lord, <laughs> sent them from the wilderness of Paran. All those men were heads of the children of Israel. And there, these were their names of the tribe of Reuben, Shamua, the son of Zechor, of the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, the son of Hori. Okay, bear with me with these names, because I'm sure I'm going to butcher the daylights out of them. But I'm going to try my best. This is when I need the dude from that speaks Hebrew here. <laughs> the Jew. He goes, I'm Jewish. I'm a Jew. I said, well, already. <laughs> I'm good with that. Of the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephuna, of the tribe of Ishkar, Igal, the son of Joseph, of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshia, the son of Nun, of the tribe of Benjamin, Paltai, the son of Raphu, of the tribe of Zebulun, Gadiel, the son of Sodai, of the tribe of Joseph, namely of the tribe of Manasseh, Gadi, the son of Susi, of the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamali, of the tribe of Ashur, Sether, the son of Michael, of the tribe of Naphtali, Nahabi, the son of Vophsai, of the tribe of Gad, Gad, Gul, the son of Machi. These are the names of the men whose Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Oshi, the son of Nun, Joshua. And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said unto them, Get you up this way southward, and go up into the mountain and see the land, what it is, and the people that dwelleth therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities they be that they dwell in, whether in tents or in strongholds, and what the land is, whether it be fat or lean, whether there be wood therein or not, and be ye of good courage, and bring of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the time of the first striped grapes. So they went up and searched the land from the wilderness of Zin unto Rahab, as men came to Hamat. And they ascended by the south and came into Abram, where Ahiam, 
Shishai and Talmai, the children of Anak, were. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zon in Egypt. And they came unto the brook of Eshkol, and cut down from thence a branch, which one cluster of grapes, and they bare it between two upon a staff, and they brought of the pomegranates and of the figs. The place was called the brook Eshkol because of the cluster of grapes, which the children of Israel cut down from thence. And they returned from searching of the land after forty days. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel under the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh, and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation, and shewed them the fruit of the land. And they told him, and said, We came into the land, whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled, and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea, and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses, and said, Let us go up at once, and possess it, for we are well above, able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, we be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we had gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the son of Anak, which come of the giants, and we were of sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Stay tuned. Then. I've got more coming up. Left to all bunches and bunches. Bye.